The following show features activities performed by non-professionals and under the supervision of absolutely no one. Accordingly, Beyond Main Street and the producers must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any activity or dance performed on this show. This podcast is a member of the Disney Podcast Network family, hosted by Jeff and the Meandering Mouse Podcast. Stop by the Disney Podcast Network today at thedpn.com. Here's the story of a freak named Lou who loves talking about all things Disney. He loves going to Disney parks like Disney World and someday Disneyland. Here's another whose name is Bob who's not quite a frequent he is strange. When he says sup, that means he loves you and he loves Disney too. Till this one day when Freak Blue met Strange Bob And they knew it was much more than a meet That these two would somehow form a big cast That we know now called Beyond Main Street Beyond Main Street Beyond Main Street That's the way they became Beyond Main Street Hello, everybody. Welcome home. Welcome home to Beyond Main Street. BeyondMainStreet.com. Your crazy, fun, weird Disney vidcast like no other. How's everybody doing out there? Bob, how you doing? Good. I'm not supposed to be here, you know. You're not supposed to be here. Where are you supposed to be? I'm supposed to, I don't know. i got to get used to doing this. <laughs> Where are you supposed to be, Bob? Um, I'm not supposed to be here. Remember, Sarah was supposed to do the show or something. I know. You are. Yeah, so very good point. I do apologize to everybody out there who wanted to see. Hey, really if, you wanna, if, you wanna, if you want to talk on the mic, you're going to have to you slap me or nudge um, me or something. So I apologize to all you the Sarah fans out there that I'm not Sarah. Um, but I'm not Sarah. Uh, you're not Sarah. You got that right. <laughs> We were able to switch schedules a little bit. I got back from Vegas, so you didn't, didn't shoot a show. So, yeah, so we're back. I'm back. What's up? How's it going? Very cool, man. Oh, sweet. We're going to still do that. Yeah, boy. Let's just put a whole bunch of dingers in there. Sweet. This freaking wind's going to blow me over. It's a beautiful day here, and we will tell you where we are at right now, uh, just a few minutes into the show. But, hey, we all got to find out. How was Vegas, dude? It was fun. We had a good time. Uh, I don't think I saw one Disney thing out there, which was pretty awesome. Um, no Disney stores? No no, no. buddy wearing Mickey shirts? No. 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 I don't think Disney's allowed out there. So, yeah. But I'm sure for the right amount of money, I could have got some people to wear some Disney, you know, hats for me on the streets. That'd be cool. I heard for... I heard... Uh, they have some businesses out there that's kind of like Domino's. You can get stuff in 20 minutes or less. 20 minutes to your room and less, yeah. So did you get anything 20 minutes or less, or did you get it free, or what? I don't know. I was going to ask them that. You asked me that before I left, and I should have asked. So, But, uh, yeah. yeah. We had a good time. Okay, cool. Nice. You get the 99-cent uh, hot dog? Uh, we didn't get the 99-cent hot dog. It was like the 4 99 hot dog, but it was like this freaking big. What? The hot dog. Oh, sweet. <laughs> nice. It was, I couldn't finish the whole thing. It was, I even actually had to take the bread off of it, and uh, but it was good. You, uh, well, no, you know, back in Omaha, right. you're not much of a gambler. No. So, you doing any gambling while you were there? I think we gambled about a total of $40. So Not bad. No, nah, lost it all, so... My right hand's getting tired. Uh, I feel like I should be working for WOWT or something. Well, you, no one's Sorry, that's a back in Omaha reference. No one's going to have any clue what that means. you got to speak up. There's, it's kind of no windy. No one's got a freaking clue what that means! Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's okay. Hey, I, uh, so, you know, we got American Idol's been on TV. Have you had a chance to check out Sexy Rexy's American Idol tryout video? What? The- <laughs> As the wind picks up here. A little nipply. What the heck was that, dude? <laughs> oh, dude, that was awesome. I spent a lot of time writing those lyrics and figuring out, you know, how it's going to... Not me, but, I mean, Sexy Rexy figured, was trying to figure out what was the best way to do it. And Yeah, and freaking Sexy Rexy's cohort spent a lot of time editing a video down for him to put in the background that he never used. <laughs> oh, it just didn't seem to... <laughs> I'll talk to Sexy Rexy about that. It just didn't seem to be right for, you know... But you know, I, I just you know I just put up for Sexy Rexy what 
American Idol sent back. So maybe they kept the Pocahontas footage. Yeah, my, sorry about that. Because I know Sexy Rexy really wanted to have Pocahontas footage behind him also. So, well, you know, maybe you should talk to him when he streams live. Friday and or Saturday nights oh, at beyondmainstreet.com. You can check out Sexy Rexy hosting his live video and chat. I highly recommend everybody check that out. It's simple. Go to beyondmainstreet.com. Click on the BMS Live tab right in the middle of the page. And for the most part, Saturday evenings, 9 Central Standard Time, approximately. Uh, and possibly even sometimes on Friday nights. So come over. We usually have 20 to 40 or plus people in there in the chat room. We talk Disney. We talk current events. We just have a great time. So we welcome everybody to come over. I had no clue we did, you did a live stream. No, I don't. Uh, Sexy Rexy does. I had no clue Beyond Main Street hosts a live stream for anybody what i didn't know beyond main street hosted any kind of live chat or oh yeah oh yeah beyondmainstreet.com go to beyondmainstreet.com to click on that bms live tab and it's all good Freaking yeah boy it is muddy but you know why it's muddy we're gonna get to that in just a moment I'm like squishing dude actually let's get to that right now my notes say <laughs> yeah boy okay well should i tell him or do you want to tell him where we are standing told me to meet you here, so I don't know where we're at, actually. I'm very surprised that you made the trip down for this. Uh, yeah, me too. My wife is pissed, but... Well, she'll get over it. Yeah. You just took her to Vegas. Come on. Hello. Oh, really? So, okay, folks, check this button. Should we, should we let everybody take, right. take, take a look at this? Look at this. This, folks, is... Yes. They are starting on the fifth gate at Walt Disney World. Come here, Bob. Come back in here. Let's talk about this. Come back in my mud pile. Come back in your mud pile. I know. The construction is starting well, already well underway over here to the uh, southeast of the, of the, of the uh, development here. But this is, the, this is the Night Kingdom. The Night Kingdom you have heard about on other Disney podcasts, but they couldn't bring it to you like Beyond Main Street can bring it to you. That's not like a wrestler. Yeah, boy! I was actually going to say that. So, we figured we'd take it one step further and bring you to the actual land of Night Kingdom. Walt Disney's newest projected, supposedly, we think it's BS, park coming out. But we had to come and see it for ourselves. So, Why is it BS? Well, I think it, it doesn't seem like a park that Walt Disney should be doing quite yet. Mm -hmm. I just don't get it from what we've heard Isn't he long in gone? the articles all over the web. Isn't Mr. Disney long gone? Mr. Walter Elias Disney is, yes, he is long gone. Some, however, believe that he is still cryogenically frozen. Just his head, though, right? What? <laughs> Just his head, though, right? Well, that's a good point. I do not know. Okay, at the castle at once. I feel like I'm being pretty loud on this mic, and you're not being very loud. I'm trying, dude. Kind of nipply for this time of year down here in Florida, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah, you, yes. All right. So, yes, we are here at Disney's Night Kingdom. You're going to go off camera. You better come back over here. Oh, I was trying. I didn't want to. Letting people see what we have, beautiful trees that are going to be ripped down for new attractions. Some attractions that are rumored to be right over here. We'd love to show it to you, but we cannot show it to you right now. But maybe in the future, we will have some great footage of that. Disney will not allow us to show that. Right over here, we have where there's going to be a huge pool of water with gators and you're going to be able to zip line right up here zip line straight over the live crocodiles and basically you're going to be bait so we look forward to trying that out if this park is going to go through bob what have you seen that they're doing back here on the uh what direction is this uh, northeast northeast would be this way yes i heard something about a pocahontas experience pocahontas experience yeah. what wow Totally immerse yourself in the experience with Pocahontas. I don't know exactly the details. Well, this sounds like our kind of attraction. So, yeah, so... Maybe this park won't be that bad after all. I think some of the trees for that are staying up, I've heard. Oh, some of the trees are going to stay up for the, park, the, the Pocahontas Forest Ranger Adventure. Forest Ranger Adventure. I thought it was a Pocahontas experience, but you might... Pocahontas experience. Kind of like the Inuyers experience, or... Or the Star Trek experience, which I saw in Vegas, by the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> which is freaking awesome. I'm not used to holding this mic. It's kind of too phallic -y for me. Okay, is that all you see going on over here? Um, well, what else do you see going on over there? And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what else I see. Well, just actually west 
of the Pocahontas Forest Ranger Adventure attraction experience. Uh, another rumored attraction that's going to be coming into the Disney Night Kingdom <laughs> is uh, uh, the the reef, the swim with the live octopus and shark and dolphin reef, which is west would be just a little bit over this way. So it's more more kind of over here. Now we do want to mention that. The Night Kingdom is supposedly rumored to also have the famous spoke wheel park as the Magic Kingdom. So there's going to be a, the hub. It's going to have the hub, and then you, you branch off to certain dip, different parts, uh, different parts of the park. So how, how do you think about what do you think about that? Uh, I think it's a very uh, very um, it's a good idea. It's very logical. Um, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Well, I mean, it has worked. The Disneyland, the original, as you would say, park in Disneyland resort and then also uh it seemed to work at the magic kingdom so why not do it again um and i did hear that they're working on getting an exclusive contract with shamu's brother whammo 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 yeah. shamu's brother yeah and they're gonna have a big thing with him and they're gonna in the reef area yeah. uh somewhere near the reef area i think they're doing something like that something like the shamu experience or something like what well, which leads yeah go I'm ahead sorry. it leads me to believe why they would call it night kingdom uh, now the rumors are that it's going to be a night park, so you can start at like three or four in the afternoon and go till midnight. But with all the aquatic attractions they're going to have, I'm not quite sure if the Pocahontas attraction experience is going to be aquatic e, if that's a word. But all the rest seem to be very aquatic and adventurous. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see, wait and see uh, what other rumors come out in the future. And you were a little upset earlier that they possibly stole the name from our zoo here and our back in Omaha. Uh, absolutely, back, back in Omaha, way far west from here. Yeah, which is called the uh, Kingdom of the Night. Yes, the Omaha Henry Dorley Zoo, up where Bob and I live, very, very far west that way. Uh, they have a Kingdom of the Night attraction, which is, well, it's dark in there, and there's gators. And what else is in there? Basically, that's about it. Albino yeah, gators. There's bats, there's caves, you know. <clears throat> and you walk around under, it's like, yeah. Well, we did a show back in Omaha at the zoo once with our buddy John. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yep. Um, so, and this is going to be called Night Kingdom? This is rumored to be called Night Kingdom. They just took Kingdom in the Night and just flipped it around. Yeah, they flipped it, which doesn't seem like a Disney thing. They, they should come up with their own names, because Omaha Henry Dorley Zoo had it first. Yeah. They just kind of turned it around. But you know what? Enough about that. We would love to get, you know, feedback at beyondmainstreet at gmail.com has been just a little lackluster lately. So we would invite everybody. Happy. What? been crappy well you said that i said a little lackluster so we'll go with whichever you like except annette she wrote us annette wrote us yeah hey what's up annette all right cool and um yeah so send us your comments at beyond main street at gmail.com we would love to hear your thoughts on disney's night kingdom and a possible fifth gate uh we would love to hear what you think about it do you like it do you not like it you know i can go to different boards or i can go to different websites and see comments but we would like to get you guys more part of Beyond Main Street. So, send us a simple email. In the worst case, let us know what you thought of this show and if you appreciated us making the travels way down to Central Florida. Especially me. Especially Bob. you got to give Bob some props yeah. for that. Right on. You know, you do remind me of like, we should call you Lou Donahue. I'm sinking in the mud. This might be quicksand down here. Well, you might be as short as me pretty soon. Lou Donahue, that's funny. You look like it with the little, the little card in your hand. Oh, yeah. Little microphone. and you know, Sweet. Good. Uh, all right, cool. What's the P on your hat stand for, by the way? The P on my hat. I bet you can't guess. Uh, Pirates? Good guess. It stands for Pocahontas, baby. Oh, Go back to that Sexy Rexy video that I done there. Or he done. We done. They done. That you didn't edit. All right, we didn't edit. Whatever. <laughs> What do you got to say? Uh, no, I didn't have to. This is fun. We should we should make these trips down here outside to Walt Disney World more often. I can't see if you're well, on we've camera. We've done some work for them. We've like cleared out some of the land for the. Oh yeah, we've leveled out quite a bit just standing here. We're, we're big boys. We we're taking care of it. Uh, the land. Oh yeah, sweet. Well, hey, let's get on to the next topic, which is more? let's go from Walt Disney World's Animal. No, I'm by, my bad. Night Kingdom. Let's fly way over to the West Side. To Disneyland Resort. And let's talk about Disney's California Adventure. Aren't they doing an Epcot over there? I do not know. No. Where the hell did you hear that? <laughs> Epcot? Wait, how I got something fuzzy on my mic. Okay, I got it. All right, I, sweet. Okay, cool. Well, that, we're at Disneyland California Adventure. Hey, we got West Fest coming up. West Fest 08. Right on, brah.
All right. Well, hey, you know, we hope you enjoyed this. We've enjoyed it. We can't wait to come back down here and uh, maybe things are looking a little bit more green and plus next time we come back for, for Florida. Florida. Yeah. You got that right. But um, so yeah, so well, this show is coming out very close to St. Patrick's Day. Right. So happy St. Patrick's Day to all you Irish folk out there. Right on. I I, I second that. And if we have anybody from Ireland, happy St. Patty's Day to you all. Oh, Danny boy, sup? Oh, Danny boy, who's that? That's an Irish song. Oh, I thought there was somebody we knew called Oh Danny boy. So. We know a lot of Dannys. I know, I'm sorry. I know a lot of Dannys. Because I converse with them, you don't. Yeah, sorry. Because you're not on a DPN or Twitter or anything. I'm on Twitter. Yeah, but you don't do crap. Oh, I'm gonna quit Twitter because no one's following me. Dude, you got more fun. Fo- oh, got- oh, oh, hey, oh, this is not cool, bad. people. Go back to the parks where you belong, you butt licker. Aren't you gonna? Oh wait, we're live, aren't we? <laughs> aren't you gonna have a video with people honking at you pretty soon on in your ears or? What? You getting pissed at people and in your ears? Oh yeah, there's going to be a great in your ears experience. And before we go to our the rest of the show, I want to mention that the in your ears experience will no longer, no longer, be on this feed. So go to iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> go to uh, and it's cold down here in Florida at this time of year. Think go the go to iTunes and search for in your ears experience and subscribe to. Okay that show and leave some comments leave some comments we'd like to yes yes so okay well let's get on with the show i hope those people found the park they sound like mean disgruntled people that don't know how to drive which will be the next in years experience (laughs) actually that sounds familiar (laughs) yeah that'd be cool very cool i think that's two so that's not bad i don't know what we're gonna do i don't know we gotta get up on out but we gotta go all right cool so we'll see you guys enjoy the rest of the show we'll come back for a minute at the end of the show and we'll see you guys in a little bit enjoy the feature video these are a couple of our leprechaun slash munchkin friends uh well you'll see them somewhere in the video so enjoy that and we'll see you in a couple minutes all right all right all right to ask everyone to please remain seated at all times and to keep all hands and personal belongings inside the vehicle at all times. Also, for the safety of our cast as well as for the comfort of those around you, we ask that there please be no flash photography and no use of external video lighting. Thank you. Well, now that we've taken care of business, let's get on with the show. Is everybody ready? Yes. Great, because the cameras are ready to roll. Ready when you are, C-Beam. Welcome to the Great Movie Ride. My name is Keith and I'll be your guide for this tour that's going to begin here in this Hollywood soundstage and take you into some of the greatest films of all time, all on one tour. And just between you and me, the Great Movie Ride is no ordinary tour because it brings these movies to life and puts you right in the middle of the action. Great Hollywood. 
Hollywood musicals, beginning in 1933 with Busby Berkeley's extravaganza, Footlight Parade, starring James Cagney, Ruby Keeler, and Dick Powell. Gene Kelly with Singing in the Rain, with Dick Powell, and Donald O'Connor. Oh, oh, and look up ahead. Can anyone tell me what the name of this movie is? <laughs> That's right, it's Walt Disney's classic film, Mary Poppins, from 1964, starring Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. The Underworld. The scene of such classic gangster films as The Public Enemy, starring my favorite tough guy, James Cagney. Very last time. When Dutch comes around, he's gonna leave you some beer, and you're gonna take it. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna kick him with the dog. And if you don't, somebody's gonna drop by here and kick your teeth out one at a time. Get me? I get you. I'll be I'm sorry about the delay, folks, but I don't want to run a red light, even if it is just a movie. Uh, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Nah, I'm talking to I'm talking to the dame and the funny looking out for you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Uh, I'm not supposed to leave my vehicle. I said get him. Oh, okay, Muzzy, whatever you say. Hey. How did you know my name? Well, I've seen this movie before. <laughs> And your fancy car is fine to get out of here. So mean. You're taking a picture. You think you're in a sense. Ran out of here. Are you kidding me? I can't just walk out of the car. You're not supposed to be in general. That's your blindness. So get the popcorn. Well, I reckon you 
Okay, now that we're in the clear, this is the perfect time for me to collect up all your... Hey, I don't even like this Now it's 
it's not George of the Jungle, it's Tarzan, portrayed here by Johnny Weissmuller. Over there we have Marino Sullivan as Jane and the lovely and talented Cheetah as herself. The Flame Waste, as two lovers meet for the last time. Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman in the classic romance Casablanca. In silence we both know you belong with it. Time is worth it and it keeps you going. That plane leaves the ground and you're not really going to be better. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon, the rest of your life. We'll always have past. We didn't have it. We lost it until you came to Casablanca. We got it back for us. Mickey Mouse is one of his greatest roles as the sorcerer's apprentice in Fantasia. the house on you too. Very well. I'll buy my time. But just try to stay out of my way. Just try. I'll get you my pretty and your little dog too. <laughs> well, the sooner we get out of Oz, the better. Um, excuse me, sir. Which way do we go? Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road? Oh, well, why didn't I think of that? The greatest stars of the silver screen and the films that made them famous.
make them an offer and count with you. Studios. I'd like to thank you all for joining us today on the great movie ride. But before we wrap this production, we have one scene left to do, and it's called The Exit. The action begins with your remaining scene until the vehicle comes to a full and complete stop. So look around, make sure you have all of your personal belongings with you, and when the doors open, you can rise dramatically to your feet and exit to the rear of our sound stage. <laughs> oh, and just one more thing. When I yell action, don't forget that thunderous applause for yours truly, okay? <laughs> Places, everybody, and action! Thank you, everybody. Thanks a lot. We hope you enjoyed the rest of your day here with us at the Disney MGM Studios. And I'll see you all in the movies. The stuff dreams are made of. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great day. Now exit dramatic. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Boy, that time flew. That did. That was a fun ride. Hey, wasn't there a limo ride at um, one of the parks or something one time? Disney Hollywood Studios. Yeah. It used to be Disney MGM Studios. Rock and Roller Coaster with Aerosmith. No. Weren't you in, like, a limo or something? I'm serious. I know there was, and I never got to ride it. It's like a runaway limo or something. What? Or... Disneyland, maybe. No, it was a freaking... Uh... Superstar limo? Yeah, was that it? Yeah. That was in Disneyland, y'all? Oh, it was in Disneyland? <laughs> Are you serious? Can I say that? I guess I just did. It was in Disneyland? Superstar oh. limo was in Disneyland. They don't have it anymore. No. It was like, stupid? Yeah, because I never got to experience it. I wonder if my mic is making noise. <laughs> That's not weird. Is that all you got to say? That's all I gotta say. Holy jeez, dude. Be, be gentle. Well, hey, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the... Uh, Beyond Main Street. <laughs> yeah, it was in something else. Beyond Main Street, Big Cast. Like I said, uh, questions, comments, suggestions would be great. BeyondMainStreet at gmail.com. We do want to say thank you very much to... All the people who recently left us feedback on iTunes. Sorry. We are in the mid 60s right now so there's been quite a jump i believe we got about 10 new ones since we've last begged for some so yes thank you very much that is very nice we very much do appreciate you guys taking a minute and leaving feedback on itunes for us and um cool because you know we know there's a lot of podcasts out there and we're all begging for stuff and and uh if you to do that for us after we beg we appreciate it so heartfelt thank you very much for all the feedback on itunes as well as the emails that we do receive so we just like to see them stepped up a little bit that's all yeah. you know 
Now, we do still have things available on the website. Do you want to talk about that? Sure. What am I talking about? You might want to talk up because it's windy. <laughs> what do we have available on the website? Oh, you mean like the DVDs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We still got DVDs available on the website. And like we said before, up until show 50, they're going to be at the discounted price of $10 per DVD. That includes shipping. Uh, $10 per DVD or 3 for 30 So your choice. Um, so, yeah, show 50. We'll post it. And then soon after that, the price will go go up uh so if you want it if you want that intervention if you want that marceline or if you want that pirates of the caribbean now's your chance uh they make great holiday gifts we stock up now for christmas uh hanukkah easter's coming up they make great easter gifts easter will um, probably be here and gone by the time this show comes out yeah probably pretty close. pretty close yeah so um you put a little coupon that says you're getting you know birthdays you know birthdays anniversaries bar mitzvahs um uh, brisks, um, the weddings, oh, they celebrations. Make, celebrations. They make great wedding gifts. Celebrations of new park openings. Yeah, you know this park reminds me of. I saw a music video one time. It really reminds me of that. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, they do a lot of filming in Florida. So Here, yeah. can I practice real quick? Yeah. So, uh, what's your uh, thoughts on the new park? Uh, Disney's Night Kingdom. Yes. Well, my my honest thoughts are I'm just not really quite sure about it. Bob. Really? It just just doesn't seem like a family friendly type friendly type of park. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about it, and I hear it's going to be a half day type of place. And okay. I'm just not quite sure. Kind of like Magic Kingdom half day. What? What? You ever see that video where the guy's like, <laughs> yeah. "What's going on?" <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. I kind of like that. What? I'm swinging it around. What? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Sweet. We're just babbling, aren't we? We're, we are babbling. We better go before uh, some other idiot tries to run us off the road. Get well, my life for you, dummies. Yeah. All right. Uh, cool. Well, hey, can I talk? Can I talk? Yeah. Um, talk? this is the last time I'll probably have the mic and talk. So, uh, <laughs> everybody, everybody have a great uh, couple weeks. Uh, and I'll see you on the boards. I'll see you on the live streams, and I'll see you in the parks. Sorry, I think I just fit on the show. Sorry, that's very not. That's not professional. Who said this is professional, though? This is Lou and Bob, you know. All right, cool. The next show is going to be great. Actually, next show would be show 50, correct, Mundo? Sweet. And uh, that's my last show before I go to Walt Disney World. I go April 5th through the 11th. So if you're going to be there, send me an email. See, I'm begging for emails again. Let me know if you're going to be there. I'd love to hang out and say, hey, what's up? What's up? I'll have the uh, Sarah and Elise with me, but to meet would be great. I'd appreciate that, and I think uh, it'd be fun. So, yes, look for me. But uh, no, I'm not going by myself. I'm going by myself to uh, Westfest. What are you just talking about? That's something different. No, 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 no. What? Disney World. When are you going to Disney World? April fifth. When are you going to Westfest? May second. Oh my gosh! First. I, I seriously thought you were talking about Westfest, right? There. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Um. So yes. Okay. What's my note say? Okay. So my next show, the last show before I leave. Guess what? There's going to be on that show. Some dancing, dancing. We're going to be dancing on the next show. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, but I'll figure it out. And, uh, okay, I just want to remind you guys one last time. I would love to see 75 to 100 people at my live stream on Friday and Saturday nights. It's a great time, so come over and check that out. Simply beyondmainstreet.com. Click on the BMS Live. Select your simple resolution for your computer, and you're in. It's all good. Come on in. Say hello. Uh, I pretty much can say, yeah, I pretty much can say it's pretty much Saturday nights, 9.30 Central Standard Time, around that area. If I'm not on at that point, check in the half hour later, I'm, I'll be on, because it's usually a little bit late, so. And I don't usually get on until a little later than that. Yeah, you usually get on like 3, 4 in the morning, don't you? Yeah, whenever, nobody's, nobody's ever there. So. Yeah, you suck. All right, well, hey, everybody have a good week. Have a great, uh, great time, whatever you're doing, because we're going to go talk to a couple Imagineers and see if we can help out with this new park. Look at what they're doing over there. Yep. Nice. Cool. Alright, we'll be right there, guys. And ladies, we'll be right over. See you guys on the next episode. Talk to you guys later. Bob, you want to say bye-bye? No. Take care, everybody. We'll see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>